okay, it's time for a pitch meeting <laughs> on Electra. Isn't that movie from like 2004? <laughs> Let's see here. What, uh, Jennifer Garner, though. Oh, I had a big thing for Jennifer Garner back in the day. So you have a Daredevil spinoff for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I was thinking this one takes place after that movie, and we follow Electra Nachos. Oh, she's my favorite nachos, other than pulled pork. But didn't she die in the first movie? She did, but she's going to be brought back from the dead by a guy named Stick. So Stick helps nachos, and you're sure these are people and not inanimate objects? Oh, they're people, all right. So <laughs> Stick trains her in an ancient martial art that gives you precognition and resurrection abilities. Oh, she can see the future. A little bit. Sometimes when I want her to. Sick. But then Stick is gonna kick her out of training. Why? She's having too many trauma flashbacks and it's messing with the flow of the movie. She's gotta go deal with that and grow as a character. Gotcha. So she becomes a contract <laughs> killer and starts contractually <laughs> killing people. Does she go reconnect with Matt Murdock? They were kind of in love in the last movie. I'm sure you'd like to know that she's not dead. Well, see, she would, but... You know, Ben Affleck costs money. Right, okay, best pretend he doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. So then Electra gets hired for a really big job, but she's got to go wait at this lake house for a couple of days. Okay. So then we're going to give the people what they really want to see in a superhero movie. You know, a lady calmly living by a lake for quite some time, quietly alone. Oh, hell yeah, take in some relaxing scenery, Electra. And she ends up meeting these two people, Mark Miller and his daughter, Abby, and they end up getting close, and she thinks Mark Miller is quite cute, so she gives them a little kiss. From Matt Murdock to Mark Miller, so we maybe change his name to something less similar? No, but then she finds out they're the <laughs> targets of her assassination thing. Oh, plot twist. Oh, thank you. Thank me for what? For implying that there was a plot to twist up until this point. That's so nice of you. Okay, you're welcome, I guess. So this was one of the times she could not see the future, I guess. <laughs> Correct. And so then she decides to not go through with the murder because she doesn't want to go through with the murder. Fair enough reasoning, sure. But then as she's leaving this island, she... <laughs> Exactly what happened, man. I remember thinking that too when I watched it. Oh shit. He sees two assassins that have been hired by this evil organization, The Hand, to do the assassination job. Oh no, she's gotta go stop those guys from doing the hand job. No, don't phrase it like that, please, but yes, she does. Very exciting. So she heads back and kills these two assassins with her super cool psi blades. Oh, it's gonna be tough to keep this PG-13 if she's going around killing people with blades. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, cause see, when you kill a hand assassin, they turn into big old farts, so there's no blood at all. <laughs> Oh, uh, bloodless farts are tight. I wish I had some of those. You need to talk to a doctor. So then the head of the hand tells his right hand man to take the hand matter at hand into his own hand. I had to push the sound effect button. It, and I know E-Rad appreciates that. I know E-Rad appreciates that. Plus, did you have you seen the new uh, Deadpool movie, by the way? I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't, so close your ears. But, like, the appearance of Blade and Elektra and Gambit was fucking awesome, dude. And how old is Jennifer now? She's like gotta be in her 50s. She still look fucking fantastic. Hands. What? He tells his son and his group of assassins to go kill Electra. Electra. Oh my goodness. Yeah! Perfect timing. Thank you, Dinus. Next time, it's gonna be glass. Sorry about the echo. Sorry. I just, you know, sorry about that. Thank you, Dinus. Thank you. Yeah, I love the new Deadpool movie, and I was high, I was like really against it at first because after watching Logan, I'm like, man, I was like, don't be bringing, don't be bringing Hugh Jackman back for just don't do it. And they they mashed for it was like God mode writing. It really was. And capture Abby. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. So why do they want to capture Abby instead of kill her now? Well, it turns out she's a martial arts prodigy, and they want to use her as a weapon. So Electra brings them to see Stick. See Stick like a branch floating in the ocean? No, they go visit that old guy, Stick, and he's like, I'm not protecting these people. You protect these people. A very rude Stick. So Electra tells them, okay, yeah, I'm not protecting you either, so you should definitely run away and hide somewhere. Okay. But then they're about to be attacked, so she's got to protect them. Oh, she changed her mind extremely fast. Yeah, well, see, she sees some bird graffiti move, so she's like, uh-oh. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, well, see, one of the assassins is named Tattoo, and he could turn his tattoos of animals into actual animals, and then also back into uh, graffiti and whatever 
he needs to do. That's pretty specific. It is. So she takes them to this so country bad. house with her murder for hire agent guy, but guess what? There's a freaking bird watching them there too. Freaking bird who's a tattoo sometimes and also graffiti occasionally. Super annoying. So then they're gonna get attacked again and this agent guy is gonna <laughs> sacrifice Damn. himself to buy them some time to escape through a secret tunnel. This is one of those secret tunnel country houses? Of course, yeah, yeah. So does he buy them some time? He does not, no. He shoots a hole in the door and then pokes his head through it, so they kill him pretty much immediately. Dang it. And then Electra's gonna get kissed by a girl who can kill things just by being close-ish to them. Close-ish. So she didn't need to kiss her. That was kind of gratuitous. Yeah, well, see, the thing about that is, uh... Look, I want to see that. Fair enough. But then Stick and his assassins are going to show up and save them. Oh, and he's able to make people not dead. He is. So Electra gets all better after that super hot, uh, super dangerous encounter. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Stick implies that this has all been a test as a part of Electra's training. Oh, sneaky Stick. So now Electra is going to astral project herself, which is a thing she can do. Oh, she can. Yeah, and she astral projectally challenges the bad guy to a big showdown because it's time to wrap this movie up. Right. And she finds out that this is the guy who killed her mom. So as you can see, I've raised the stakes and made this personal. Oh, now it's personal. But then this guy kicks her butt and then Abby's going to show up and help and they escape into a hedge maze. Those have only ever been built for chasing people around them and attempting murders. Exactly. So then Abby gets surrounded by thousands of tattoo snakes, but Electra kills the tattoo guy, so that takes care of that. Are the snakes okay? Well, no, because they weren't real snakes. They were ink snakes that then, with powers, became flesh snakes, and then <laughs> phys physical snakes that could attack, and then when the host of the ink died, there was no... You, you just don't think about this too much. <laughs> Done. So then Electra manages to kill Personal Stakes guy, but Kissy Death Lady kills Abby. Oh, no. Yeah, so then Electra kills her with the longest scythe throw ever. I mean, this thing travels and travels and travels and travels through the hedges and finally throw. turns that lady yeah. into the fart she deserves to be. Wow, but Abby is... <laughs> turns her into the fart she deserves to be. Raphael himself could not have thrown that sigh longer. Dead. She is, but then Electra unlocks her resurrection powers by releasing all the rage she had inside of her. I guess that's easy to do when you've just violent. You, you didn't miss anything, Mad Styles says. Nah, glad I never saw this. You, you didn't miss anything, except Jennifer Garner, who I do have a slight crush on killed all the people you hate. Yeah, and so that's about it. What do you think? Well, I'm just happy we're able to get Jennifer Garner back as Electra, you know, and hopefully if this does well, we can do that again sooner rather than later. Oh, yep. Yeah. And uh, she was, she was, and she did great. And she looks fantastic. And I would just like to add, I would just like to add, Ben Affleck does not deserve Jennifer Garner nor J-Lo Booty. So I would just like to say the following thing to Ben Affleck, who's, by the way, not an actor. Ben Affleck, this is for you. Boo! 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 Who deserves neither Jennifer Garner or J-Lo Booty. Either one. Either one. And now it's time for a DJ 360 Spotlight. Hold on one second, Cloud Arc. We have a special request here. Uh, e Red asked if we can fart Ben Affleck. Yes, we can. If anybody deserved to be a gas cloud, it is Ben Affleck. Just letting you know. Horrible Batman as well. All right, back to DG360 Spoiler. <laughs> don't like him i never liked him he's I, the, I don't know the whole matt damon ben affleck thing was just such a you know i don't know i don't know it's just I'm not not anyway i could talk about this for an hour there's a whole backstory to this but anyhow cloud art 2060 i love your reactions they're not in, they're not reactions they are enhancements <laughs> But thank you, CloudArk. I appreciate you, bro. And thanks for watching and being a subscriber here on DG360. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you for that nice, nice comment.